Hello welcome this is One India News and I am Akash India is a land of many cultures and diversities over the period of time India has given many technologies and cultural gifts to the world We at One India take a look at top 10 achievements from India that has made the world a better place but before we start don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more such fun videos Number 10 the value of pi the value of pi was first discovered in india by budhyana he also explained the concept what is also known as the pythagorean theorem in the 6th century ages before european mathematicians the value of pi gives us an insight of how evolved our past was there is a shlok or a hymn of lord krishna or shiva which gives the value of pi up to 31 decimal places it is very amazing that our forefathers used an encrypted technique to easily remember it number 9 buddhism buddhism is the fourth largest religion in the world being followed by 376 million people across the globe it is being practiced in most parts of the asian countries like thailand china sri lanka and india Buddhism was founded in the late 6th century BCE by an Indian prince called Siddharth Gautam who was later known as Gautam Buddha or the Buddha. Gautam was well protected by his father from the hardship of the life but when one day he went out on journey through his kingdom he came face to face with death, poverty and illness. He was very much disturbed about this and one fine day he left his kingdom behind to seek the answers that troubled him. He sat under a bodhi tree where he attained nirvana or enlightenment. If Buddha was responsible for giving birth to Buddhism, it was King Ashoka who was responsible to spread it across the world. After the bloody battle of Kalinga, Ashoka seeked atonement for his sins and took up Buddhism. He sent his followers and his children to the different parts of the world to spread the teachings of Buddha. Number 8, Yoga. Yoga is by far the biggest cultural contribution of India to the world. Even the United Nations has acknowledged yoga and has set 21st June as the International Yoga Day. In the modern times, yoga has not only become a lifestyle need but has actually become a lifestyle. The history or origin of yoga is very blurry as in ancient India most of the knowledge was verbal and was passed from teacher to pupil the early writings on yoga were transcribed on a fragile palm leaves which could be easily damaged destroyed or lost the development of yoga can be traced back to over 5000 years but some researchers think that yoga may be about 10000 years old yoga has come far from its origin and has passed through many phases the pre classical yoga was the first kind of yoga which was developed by the indus saraswati civilization in northern india over 5000 years ago the word yoga was first mentioned in the oldest sacred book of rigveda yoga was slowly refined and developed by brahmans and rishis who documented their practices and briefs in upanishads a huge work containing over 200 scriptures the true spread of yoga began only in the 1800s and 1900s when yoga masters traveled to the western countries to spread the teaching of yoga to the world before that it was indigenous to india only and the rest as they say is history number 7 indus valley civilization There are many ancient civilizations in the world like the Mayans or the Inca but the civilization that started on the bank of river Indus was one of the most prosperous and well built civilization the Indus Valley civilization popularly known as Mohenjo-daro and Harappa civilization were on a key trade route which joined west to the middle east the ports of these civilizations were bustling with traders from across the world the ancient ruins of these civilizations suggest that they were planned cities with roads market places and also proper sanitation facilities with a state of the art drainage system 
New evidence suggests that Indus Valley civilization in Pakistan and India, famed for its well-planned cities and impressive crafts, predates Egypt and Mesopotamia. Already considered one of the oldest civilizations in the world, experts now believe that it is 8,000 years old, 2,500 years older than previously thought, which makes it the oldest civilization of the world. Number 6. Board Games Board games like chess, snakes and ladders and Ludo have long history in India. Chess has evolved into an international phenomena while Ludo and snakes and ladders have inspired many board games across the world. The game of chess was originated in India where it was called Chaturanga which is believed to be invented in the 6th century AD by the Gupta dynasty. But the modern version of the game that we play today is believed to be developed by Persians who modified the Indian platform. Board game of Ludo is inspired by an ancient game form which is called Chaucer or Pachisi which was made popular by Mahabharat, the tale of Kauravs and Pandavs. Chaucer or Pachisi was played by four individuals like the game of Ludo and was called the national game of India. Snakes and Ladders also originated in ancient India where it was known with the name Mokshpat or Moksha Patmu. The game was invented by a 13th century saint Gyan Dev. The morality lesson of the game was that the person can attain salvation or moksha through doing good, whereas by doing evil, one will inherit rebirth to lower forms of life. It is believed that the British took the game to England in 1892 and named it Snakes and Ladders and changed it according to the Victorian values. Number 5. Cosmetic Surgery Humans have always tried to cheat aging and one of the most efficient way of doing it is going under the knife. There is no celebrity or actor who hasn't taken up this form to look more younger. Though many people believe that cosmetic or plastic surgery is a western concept, but now many researchers believe that the history of cosmetic surgery lies in ancient India. The first detailed description of plastic surgery procedure is found in the clinical text of Indian surgery, the Shushutra Samhita, at around 600 BC. Shushut Samhita is believed to be part of one of the four Vedas, specifically Atharva Veda, and was written by Shushut in approximately 600 BC, compiling what he has learned from his teachers and his predecessors. It is said that Shushut taught surgery at the Banaras University. He has very scalently described reconstruction of nose by cheek flaps. Shushut was also an ace surgeon in repairing cut earlobes, piercing of earlobes, repair of cut lips, skin grafting, classification of burns, wound care and wound healings. Shushut has been rightly called the father of plastic surgery. So, we can comfortably believe that India has given the gift of good looks to the world. Number 4. Wireless Communication Wireless communication is the future. Gone will be those days when we will be tangling ourselves in wires. Be it Wi-Fi or radio transmission or any other wireless communication, we are surrounded by gadgets which use this magical form of communication. But very few people know that India plays a very crucial role in development of wireless communication. Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose is regarded as the father of wireless communication. At a public demonstration in Calcutta, which is now known as Kolkata's Town Hall in November 1895, Bose sent an electromagnetic wave across 75 feet, passing it through a wall to remotely ring a bell and to explode some gunpowder. He also invented the Mercury Coherer, a radio wave receiver which was later used by Marconi to build the first functional transatlantic two-way radio that was capable of communicating across 2000 miles. Number 3. Time taken for Earth to orbit around the Sun Now The Earth takes 365 days to orbit around the Sun and that makes an year. We all know this as we have studied it in our school books which said that some western astronomer discovered this fact but India had made this revelation much more before that. 
Bhaskar Acharya calculated the time taken by the earth to orbit the sun in the 5th century. He was also a renowned astronomer who accurately defined astronomical quantities including the length of the sidereal year. Number 2 The Number Zero The number zero has its significance in every aspect of the life, be it economy, science or astronomy. The world that we know today would not be the same without this oval figure. The number zero is by far the most important invention of India to the world. Many items on our list has made the life of the world more simpler but this would have been futile if zero was not invented. There are many speculations that zero was first used by Brahmagupta and not Aryabhatta. But popular belief is that Aryabhatta invented zero between 476 to 550 AD. Number 1. Buttons Yes, you heard it right. The small round things that hold the world together were given by India. Buttons were discovered in Indus Valley Civilization almost 5000 years ago. Some buttons were carved into geometrical shape and had holes pierced into them so they could be attached to clothes by using a thread. Now, some believe that buttons were originally used more as an ornament than as a fastening, the earliest known being found at Mohanjadaro in the Indus Valley Civilization. Whatever may be the reason, but thanks to India, we can all now shut our shirts and trousers properly. Did you like our list of the top 10 inventions from India that has changed the world? If you have any other such ideas, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to One India News YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.